द स्टोरी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र पोलिटिकल कंडीशन वी ऑल लिव इन महाराष्ट्र डोंट वी एंड वी आर ऑल देर फॉर महाराष्ट्र पीपल बिलोंगिंग टू महाराष्ट्र एंड वी फील प्राउड दैट वी बिलोंग हियर बिकॉज इट इज ट्रूली अ ग्रेट स्टेट we have had great kings and brave people in this land there were great scholars and wise saints that lived here too we have great temples amazing caves and very strong forts anything and everything you can think of we can find in maharashtra and even in the stories of the gods we find a lot of maharashtra when ram and sita were in exile they lived in the forests of maharashtra lord krishna's wife rukmini was from maharashtra isn't that amazing long ago the city of devgiri was the main city of maharashtra Devgiri was protected by the Sahyadri mountains on one side and the Arabian Sea on the other. A young saint called Gnaneshwar lived in Maharashtra. When he was 16 years old, he wrote a book called Gnaneshwari, which has a lot of wisdom in it. it teaches people how to live and behave people of maharashtra used to follow that advice and live happily gnaneshwar lived in ahmednagar all was well in maharashtra king ramdev rao was ruling devgiri and all of maharashtra was happy and then it happened alauddin khilji attacked they killed they robbed and completely destroyed the city alauddin khilji took all the money the jewels and the princesses of devgiri all was lost this sad day was 6th february 1294 and after that it was a dark dark time for all of maharashtra so these foreign rulers who were called the sultans started ruling over maharashtra do you know how they could attack and so easily destroy a strong city it was because the kings of maharashtra did not keep a watch on what was going on in the rest of india these foreigners had been attacking and fighting in the rest of india for the last 500 years and they just moved south and brought their attack down to maharashtra it was that simple but then maharashtra was in great trouble so many years passed like this the sultans did not treat the marathi families well they made the brave maratha warriors work for them in the rule of these sultans people totally forgot the teachings of the saints who taught the people how to be happy and how to live a peaceful life they became used to suffering and being insulted all the time rulers of maharashtra political conditions shivaji maharaj was a great warrior and king who ruled over most of maharashtra 
Shivaji Maharaj set up Swaraj in Maharashtra. Swaraj means self-government. It means our own rule. That means before Shivaji Maharaj, someone else was ruling over Maharashtra. A large part of Maharashtra was under the rule of the Nizam Shah of Ahmadnagar and the Adil Shah of Bijapur. You can see the Nizam Shah's kingdom marked in dots. The Adil Shah's kingdom is marked in lines. Most of northern India was ruled by the Mughal kings. You can see the Mughal kingdom at that time marked in grey. So, you can see there were many rulers ruling over different parts of Maharashtra. And these rulers were not good. They didn't take good care of the people at all. It was a terrible time for the people of Maharashtra. The rulers kept fighting each other for more land and money. And the people were troubled too much. They were scared and not safe in their own homes and cities. People were looted and troubled. There was injustice everywhere. People could not celebrate festivals or worship their gods. They were always scared. Maharashtra before Shivaji. Shivaji's role. There were a lot of famines and so people did not even have enough to eat. There were leaders like Deshmukhs and Deshpandes who were officers of the king. The Deshmukhs and Deshpandes had to look after the land. But even they were not interested in doing anything good for the people. They too kept trying to make more money and kept fighting with each other all the time. Shivaji Maharaj saw all this and decided to change things. He first made the Deshmukhs and Deshpandes stop fighting against each other and troubling the people. He then fought against the kings who were troubling the people and set up his own kingdom. It was a good kingdom. No one was scared or troubled. The rules were fair to everyone. Shivaji Maharaj was nice to both Hindus and Muslims. This kingdom was called Hindavi Swaraj. About 300 to 400 years before Shivaji Maharaj was born, there were many saints in Maharashtra. These saints did a lot of work that helped Shivaji Maharaj later. 